not good. Not good. <laughs> we thought it was time to bring things back to the basics. Whether you're a novice or a seasoned home barista, we're here to guide you through how to pull the perfect shot of espresso. Hi, I'm August with Clive Coffee. Today, we'll be discussing the tried and true fundamentals of espresso, answering some of the most frequently asked questions, busting myths, and telling you what's important. Ready? Let's get started. An espresso recipe consists of three things, dose, yield, and time. Using a scale and measuring these elements in a recipe will help you replicate a great shot and quickly troubleshoot when issues arise. First, we'll set the dose. Our dose is how much ground coffee we're putting into our basket. Choose your dose based on the basket in your portafilter. For single baskets, use a dose between 7 to 10 grams of ground coffee, 16 to 18 grams for double baskets, and 20 to 22 grams for a triple. Always grind into a clean and dry basket. To ensure your dose is accurate, set the portafilter onto the scale, tear the scale, grind into the basket, and then place your portafilter back onto the scale to confirm that your dose is within tenth of a gram of your target. Today, I'm using a bottomless portafilter with a triple basket, aiming for a dose of 20 grams. We'll talk more about this in a minute. Once your dose is set, you'll choose your yield. This is going to be the total weight in grams of your shot of espresso. We always recommend weighing coffee in grams, not measuring by volume. The volume of a shot changes based on the coffee used and when it was roasted. Fresh coffee will have lots of crema and weigh less than a shot using older beans. Make sure the coffee you're using is between 5 to 14 days off its roast date and measure the yield in grams to be able to replicate a great shot. You'll often see dose and yield written as a ratio. This specific formula measures ground coffee input to liquid espresso output. A ratio sets the strength of your shot. Ratios for espresso typically range from 1 to 1 to 1 to 3, the general rule of using smaller ratios for darker roasts and larger ratios for lighter roasts. Clive's signature recipe is 1 to 1.5. That's what we'll be following today. 20 grams of ground coffee in our bottomless portafilter to 30 grams of liquid espresso. Time is what ties everything together. This is the total number of seconds a shot takes, including drop time, from the moment you engage the machine's pump until the last drop of your yield. A 1 to 1.5 ratio can taste very different at varying amounts of time. For a rich and full-bodied flavor, aim your shot to pull between 25 and 30 seconds. To make this happen, look to your grinder. We'll manipulate the grind size to change how long it takes for the water to flow through the coffee bed. Think of coarse coffee like stones and fine coffee like sand. If you were to pour water over the top, the water would make its way through the rocks much quicker. Changing your grind will allow you to fine tune the time of your shot. Coffee changes day to day. You'll most likely need to change your grind daily too. As coffee ages, your shots will pull faster, encouraging you to grind finer. Now that our recipe is set, let's focus on the technique to make this work. To pull an even shot, you'll need a level coffee bed. Once you grind your dose into your portafilter, gently tap the sides of the portafilter a few times to distribute the coffee until it appears flat. Keep this to a minimum as you don't want to cause a crack in the coffee bed. Once it looks level, it's time to tamp. As with distribution, a level tamp is vital for success. Hold your tamper between your index finger and thumb, almost like grabbing a doorknob. Stand perpendicular to the portafilter and place your tamper into the basket. Your arm should be at about a 90 degree angle. Lightly lean into the tamp, applying slow and gentle pressure. The amount of pressure is not as important as repeatability and consistency. Once you feel resistance, remove the tamper carefully to avoid disrupting the coffee bed. Now that our coffee bed is leveled and tamped, we are ready to pull a shot. No matter which machine you use, make sure that it's warmed up and ready to go. Flush some water through the group head for a few seconds to guarantee that it's hot and clean. Insert your portafilter into the group and tighten it into place until it feels snug and tight, but don't over tighten. Place your scale and cup on the drip tray and then start your shot and timer. Once you reach your yield, stop your shot and note the time. Remember, we're looking for our 1 to 1.5 ratio to pull in 30 seconds. If your shot takes well over 30 seconds, you'll need to coarsen your grind. 
If your shot time is under 25 seconds, you need to adjust your grind finer. Try tasting every shot you pull, even the ones that aren't perfect. You might discover another recipe that's more pleasant to you. That's the beauty of espresso at home. You're the barista and the consumer. Like old towel kind of vibes. Not good. <laughs> Smell it. Not so bad, right? Perfecting the art of espresso at home takes time, patience, and lots of practice. If you don't get it right the first time, no harm done, just keep trying. Hopefully, this video gives you some new tips and tricks to take back to your machine to improve those shots. If you have any thoughts or questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. As always, like this video and subscribe for more coffee know-how. Thanks for watching. Not so bad, right? You little baby. Adjust the grind, please. Don't call me.